In this video, I'm going to be analyzing and tearing down this mosquito zapper racket. And in case you're not familiar with these things, mosquitoes fly rather slowly, so you're capable of swinging a racket and hitting them with it. And there are three planes. One plane on this side, one plane on this side, and another plane in the middle. And the diameter of the screens on the outside is larger than the diameter of the screen on the inside. So a bug is going to be able to hit both the outer plane and the interior plane and be electrocuted. And here's an illustration to explain what I mean with the planes. So if you hit the bug with a racket, part of the bug will be hitting the inside plane and part of it will be resting on the outside plane. So electrons will flow from the negative plane through the bug to the positive. And that flow of electrons is what kills the insect. And the reason why it's on both sides is just so you can use the racket in either direction. So it runs on two AA batteries, so a 3 volt potential. And it outputs a high voltage to the interior grid. And now I'm going to see what that voltage is. So I'm going to put the black lead to the outer grid and the red lead to the interior grid, making sure that they don't touch each other. And here's the meter. So around 780 volts DC. So it takes 3 volts and converts it to 780 volts. So now I'm going to open it up and see how they perform that conversion. First thing I'm going to do is remove the batteries. And discharge the grid. So touch the interior to the outer grid to drain the capacitor on the inside. Okay, so here's the circuit board. Very simple. I'll just turn this over. There's a resistor connected to the LED, so that's just to limit the current for the light indication telling you that the racket is powered. There's a resistor here which is connected to the transformer that acts as an RL circuit, which is an oscillator that also utilizes the transistor for that oscillation. I believe there's some feedback coming from the transformer just to continue that oscillation and that generates a waveform which goes to the primary side of the transformer. Now if we come over to the secondary side of the transformer so on the secondary side of the transformer the voltage is stepped up significantly and that signal or voltage is rectified by the diode here and the voltage is stored in this capacitor. One side of this capacitor is attached to the interior grid and the other side is attached to the exterior grids. So the positive and the negative. There's also a resistor here and that's just here to drain the capacitor once the signal on the primary side has ceased. That's so you don't get shocked by accident when you're cleaning bugs off the racket when you're not using it. So here's a rather simple illustration of the circuit within the racket. So there's the oscillation of the inductor, resistor, transistor, and feedback which goes into the primary side of the transformer and that's stepped up so the voltage is much higher on the output and then that voltage is stored in this capacitor here and it is rectified by the diode so it can only flow one way so the voltage will store in here up to the 780 volts DC and then here's a resistor which just drains that capacitor when the signal stops being generated and let's say the positive side of the capacitor 
goes to the interior grid of the racket and the negative side of the capacitor goes to the outer planes of the racket. So there you go. Thanks for watching.